Welcome back to the Draw Along series with me, Shannon, from the Atelier Art Studio. Today we will be learning about shapes. The following exercises will teach us how to see shapes and how they can be used in our drawings. Most artists start their drawings with what is called a block-in. A block-in uses an object's most basic shape to map out its composition, scale, and proportion. Since it is rare and almost impossible to draw an object perfectly in one go, it is important to work general to specific and to gradually work up to greater and greater refinement. Block-ins are the first step in creating a drawing and are so important in that they are the foundations of which everything else is built on. But before we can get into making block-ins, we first have to learn how to see shape. Starting on page 36, we are given three different objects that have three different underlying shapes. We must identify these shapes and lightly sketch them over the objects presented. The first image that we are given is that of a blue flower. The overall shape of the petals and leaves most resemble the shape of a pentagon. In this next image, a square most accurately describes the shape of this flower. Lastly, a triangle can be seen in the strawberry watercolor. It is also mentioned here that triangles give the sense of strength and stability, which can be helpful when creating your own compositions. In this exercise on page 37, we are asked to find as many triangles, circles, and ovals within this image. As we identify these shapes, we are to lightly sketch them over the given picture. Let's see how many we can find.
At the end of the exercise, my page looked something like this. Did you see any of these images differently than I did? Or did you find any additional shapes within this picture? Feel free to let me know in the comment section.